Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's recipient of the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance, Liam Hendricks. for uh, standing up for me, I appreciate it. But uh, the real hero is that little, little lady down there, Christy. That's, uh, she's my rock, she's the best one here. Uh, never in all my life did I think I would be on stage, and I'm so humbled to be here, recognized by the ESPYs, but also in this room, full of probably, if not the greatest athletes, some of all time. Uh, it's, it's such an honor to be here. Uh, I wanna thank everybody for it, but uh, Look, cancer changes you. There's no doubt about it. Going through this, it changed me for the better. There's a lot of times where I'm sitting out here thinking about what I could have done differently, what I could have done differently in my life leading up to this moment. But you know what? Everything, is, everything in life is short. Life, it's just trivial. Things are just trivial when you go through something like this. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter how it goes. All that matters is that you just live life your way. Do it your, fly by your own seat. Fly by everything you want to do yourself. And that's all that really matters. I mean, I was 33 years old when I got diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Not exactly the off-season I had planned this year. But it is what it is, and all you can do is tackle it <laughs> and advance. <laughs> it turned out that obviously you heard in the video that I pitched pretty much all of 2022 with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, that was a an eye opener, like I didn't feel too many symptoms, but I had some lumps around and it just shows you the power of the mind. When you don't think anything's wrong and you believe that you can do anything, you can do anything. I was throwing 100 miles an hour while going through stage four lymphoma and then coming back after doing chemotherapy, four rounds of chemo, eight rounds of, oh, sorry, eight rounds of uh, chemotherapy and four rounds of immunotherapy. Came back and was able to get out there and throw 96 miles an hour. That isn't physically a bit who I am. That's all this. That's all mental. <laughs> As I alluded to earlier, I wouldn't be here tonight without my wife, my incredible team at the Mayo Clinic, with especially Dr. Alison Rosenthal. She was, she was the person when she told me I have stage four lymphoma, said, I'm not worried. Two, <laughs> those little words I don't think have ever meant more to anybody in the history of the world. I'm not worried while telling you you have stage four cancer. She is one of the main reasons that I'm up here tonight. <laughs> I want to thank the Chicago White Sox organization for your constant faith in me and allowing me to still be a part of the team during chemotherapy while coming into spring training and being able to kind of get in, do all my work. I mean, that um, yeah, <laughs> got me off the couch, and that's big. To our friends and family always checking in, you guys are the best. My agency, Align Sports, I wouldn't be here without you. And my wife, Christy, who I spoke about earlier, she is my absolute rock. She is my world. She's the one who, any athlete out here who has a wife behind them or a, or a husband or a partner, they know that when you're doing well, you sometimes need a big kick up the ass to get, uh, to get humbled a little bit quickly. And she's that person to me. But she's also the person that will pick you up no matter what is going on and make you know that you're, you're, the, you're the greatest that she's ever known. And to Christy, I mean, this is as much yours as it is mine. As you can tell, cancer isn't something you fight alone. Nobody fights this alone. My care team, family, and friends, they encompass my entire heartbeat. They were my lifeline when I didn't know if I could overcome this. They are my lifeline as I continue on on my journey. If I leave you with anything, and I cannot stress this enough, please reach out to anybody going through anything similar to this, whether it be cancer, whether it be anxiety, whether it be depression, whether it be any number of things. Trust me, you are not annoying. You will not be an annoyance to us. All that matters is that you give us that little bit of a text. That could be the singular moment of us picking up our spirits and being able to advance to the next stage, being able to advance to that next day of treatment, being able to advance past anything that we're going through. That one text can be the difference. 
So like Jimmy V said, don't give up. Don't ever give up. And I won't. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.